My name is Bruce Cromer and I play Ebenezer Scrooge in A Christmas Carol. One of the best things about being Christmas Carol is that um, this is the 16th year I've done it. It feels like a long Broadway run except you get um, 10 months off and you come to it every year with a sense of renewal and more ideas. That and the uh, family atmosphere of the show I think is what makes it for me. One of the toughest physical scenes for me, energy-wise, is the uh, Christmas Day scene after the spirits have visited. It requires the most vocal energy, the most physical energy, and a lot of that joy that slowly comes out of Scrooge. And that's hard after two hours of being on stage. My favorite line in the entire play is, uh, for my character, is when uh, Scrooge is crying over his money box and George the Tricky Boy comes in and Scrooge turns to him and he's covering his tears a little bit oh, but he I'm, says, I'm quite a baby. I really don't know anything. And to start from a blank slate, I think that's the only way you really do go to redemption. My favorite character in Christmas Carol, probably because I played him for eight years, is Bob Cratchit. He's just the spirit of Dickens, a good man struggling with his finances and a large family the way Dickens did, but always seeing the best in every human being. That's a fabulous character. A scene that I love playing every night is uh, Marley's Ghost, because it builds up slow tension on the audience when the Marley eventually appears. There's generally some very high voiced screams and uh, the joy is working with Greg Procaccino. For all of these years we've been doing that scene, it's just fabulous to see him. He's a consummate professional and his little changes in dragging a chain across the floor always affects Scrooge. Uh, that's just, as a craftsman, that's one of my favorite scenes, two guys working together to get the sense of fear and what's ahead for the night to come. Christmas Carol to me is basically, it holds out the hope that we can all change. And no matter what bad things and bad choices and bad decisions and uh, pains that we've endured in our life, losses, sorrows, we can still wake up the next morning and struggle for hope and for change. But it always starts with us rather than the world. It's changing yourself. I think that's like the heart of Christmas Carol.